afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, going to go a little bit out of order today. And let's look at a little travel trailer. And yeah, guys, I'm doing shooting this one because I like the looks of it. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's my prerogative, I guess. <laughs> but this is a 2018 Riverside Mount McKinley. First one of these I've ever reviewed on video. Uh, neat little premium small single axle camper. It's a model 178. It's only, it's under 20 feet. It's 19 feet, 10 inches long, including the tongue. So it's under 20 feet. Weighs 3,300 pounds. Just a neat looking little camper. Got a great look to it. And a good floor plan for this size camper. Um, all fiberglass exterior. Looks great. Paint looks great. Does have some blue LED lights on the front. You just can't see them really well because the sun's out right now. And looking around it, guys, you do have a lot of equipment in a small camper. You do have a power patio awning with an LED light strip, which you can probably see there. Is on. Got the alloy wheels, outside speakers, outside shower. Well, you're not going to take a shower outside. Well, I guess you, some of y'all might, but, uh, uh, you know, for getting the sand off your feet and stuff like that. And they actually put it by the door, which is where they need to be. Never understood the outside showers being on the other side of the camper because most of the time they're great for getting mud and sand off your feet before going into the camper, so it makes sense to put it by the door. So thank you, Riverside, for finally realizing that. Um, got a spare tire on the back. 30 amp electrical service it does have the sloped roof plugged into shore power right now i got the ac humming because it's warm today and doing a great job doesn't take long to cool a camper this size down and you got a six gallon dsi uh water heater you got a power tongue jack on the front double propane bottles deep cycle battery 3,331 pounds dry weight. And it's a couples model. But it's really cool because this is one of the few under 20 foot campers I've seen with actual stationary queen bed. Not a Murphy bed, but an actual queen bed that's, that stays down all the time. And still have a table booth in the front that'll sleep one adult or two small kids. Let's look inside. AC is blowing icicles, which need today. You do have a table booth up front. I do like the fact it's on a slide. So if you got somebody like me that's bigger, you can slide it toward the other person, make it more comfortable for me. You know, if the other person's skinnier, of course, and then you can just slide it back. So very comfortable, all LED lighting. So. You know, if you are boondocking, this is something that uh, it's not going to drain your batteries fast. You can just slide that up and get out. Right here by the door is your water pump, water heater, which I didn't mean to turn on. Um, all your t monitor tank levels, there's your keys, lights. And look at this bed, guys. It's got a queen bed in the back. It actually has a 13,500 BTU roof air in this thing. So that's a lot of air conditioner for a little space because you're only talking maybe, heck, I don't know, 90 square feet at best, roughly. So you're not talking about a big area in here to cool off. And you've got all that storage in the back wall. You do have a stereo system, uh, storage underneath your bed, mini closets, little little cubby hole storage and look at this guys Corian countertops on a under 20 foot count on a under 20 foot camper first time i think i've seen that besides maybe an airstream or something like that uh do have stainless steel microwave double burner stove top you do have a countertop extender which is kind of weird since they didn't do Corian on it they just did regular countertop on it and Corian up here but hey, whatever works, you know. Actually got a full-size refrigerator, six cubic foot in here. And it is the RV refrigerator freezer that runs off of... Um, well, they left you some uh, chemicals in there. Keep it nice and cool. <laughs> um, but it does have... Uh, runs off propane or electric. So if you are boondock camping, you don't have to worry about 
Uh, you, you can always have propane to run your refrigerator and freezer. And it is already cold. I've had it plugged up for a little bit. Now it does have a wet bath, which is about all you're gonna be able to do with this floor plan to get a stationary bed. Now if they had taken the stationary bed and just put a sleeper sofa back there, they probably could have put a bathroom with a separate shower. But what's more important guys, something you're in maybe 30 minutes a day, like a bathroom versus something that you sleep eight hours a night in. I think I'm gonna take the more comfortable bed. I don't know about you. Plus, I mean, this is a big shower. The whole bathroom's a shower. This is actually bigger than you ever would have got in a camper with a separate shower from the toilet. And I know a lot of people hate the wet bath. I don't understand why. I've got the same uh, setup in my RV and the shower is huge compared to one with a separate shower. And I like it. In fact, I'm, you know, cause I've got a 25 foot motor home, but I'm telling you that wet bath is, once you get used to it, especially if you're used to the smaller showers and smaller campers, that's the only way to go period of course i know some of y'all may agree with me some of y'all may not have the experience i have and, and may disagree with me but hey that makes us human right you do have a furnace don't think you're going to need that for several months but it does have a furnace for those of you who like to boondock it does have a fantastic van right fan right there in the middle that is a boondocker's best friend you'd be surprised you know if you're out boondocking just opening the windows up and your door and leaving your screen door shut and turning that vent on will circulate a lot of air without having to have a generator or shore power to run your roof air and actually make it pretty comfortable and i've i know that from experience as well i mean it's not as comfortable as having the ac on of course but you know if you're out camping in the summertime and you've got your camper parked in the shade and ventilated well like that you'd be surprised how much more comfortable it is doing that than not doing anything at all um but yeah guys just a perfect couples camper or something if you've got maybe one or two kids there you go 3336 pounds i think is what specs say I'll, I'll put it in the video description below just to be sure um but nice camper no carpet easy to clean this is you know, easy to tow at that, that light of weight. And um, no smoke, no pet odors. I mean, there's no excuses for it, guys. I mean, this shows hardly any use at all. I mean, the only way you're gonna get one nicer than this is go spend 10 grand more and buy a brand new one. And no telling how long you have to wait to get a new one. 18.9 will trade. If you're interested in this camper, give us a call. 706-965-7929 this one will not last long uh i just like the looks of it and the, and the setup i mean if i was in the market for a small tow camper um uh, this would be perfect for us because it's just me and my wife and my daughter so this would be ideal for that because i don't care nothing about a table booth i just leave that into a bed all the time heck our table booth is outside we use picnic table and awning so um but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Just a quick video I wanted to do on this little blue camper. I seen it. It caught my eye. And I like a little backsplash, too. I don't know. I thought y'all might like it, too, just for a good start to the Monday. So stay tuned for some more videos. This unit's $18,900, which we guarantee. At that price, we guarantee the roof air, the refrigerator, freezer, and the water systems only, which includes water heater, which is pretty much everything on this camper and the water pump. So... You know, only thing you'd have to really, in the lights works, the only thing you'd have to come in and inspect be like a microwave, a stove top, and a furnace, but, and, and an awning, but that's really about it. There's nothing more to really inspect on it. That's what I like about these little campers like this, guys. It's simple, simple, simple. I'm at the point in my life, guys, I went from a 38 to a 25 foot, and no slides, no jacks, just simple simplicity, very little thing very few things can be wrong with it and I, and I do enjoy that at this point so uh you know and some of y'all may want all the gadgets and gizmos and buttons I, hey i get it nothing wrong with that that everybody's got their own version of our being me i like simple 
less to worry about. This is something that you can set for several months or a year and then open it back up, clean it up, and uh, take it out camping, and, and chances are everything will work just like it did the day you stored it. And that's the good thing about these towables. They can sit between uses, and it doesn't really hurt them like it does a motorhome. But uh, and definitely a lot cheaper, too. I mean, 18 model camper for 18.9. You try to buy an 18 model motorhome, you're, you're talking six figures. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And um, uh, subscribe to my channel. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment. Of course, I hate to leave because I got this nice AC blowing. But uh, <laughs> got to face the heat sometime. But thank you all so much for watching. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.